Hello YouTube, it's Ryan here, and we are back at it with the Suicide Squad, the newest, the newest Suicide Squad trailer that just came out like, I don't know, a half hour ago. Um, and literally all I've been doing is just watching the trailer over and over again like multiple times just to like, I guess, try to see every little detail I can. And uh, so we're going to get like, we're going to get right into this. Hopefully you guys saw like the DC uh, Dawn of the Justice League special where they premiered the trailer as well as well as some Wonder Woman footage. Not not a full trailer, but some footage from you know, the Wonder Woman movie itself. And so hopefully they'll be releasing that footage online too, uh, so which I can you know maybe go over some of that footage. But the point you no know, the point of this video is we're going to talk about what's going on in the Suicide Squad video. Um, we have there's a lot there's a lot of new stuff and and I am so excited it's such a good trailer I mean I realize not everybody like there's always those people that like there's always that little tiny like one percent you know that never likes it but this this trailer is is it's pretty it's pretty spot on so we're gonna get right into it and we're gonna start this trailer and we're just gonna we're just gonna go over everything we see in the movie so here we go let's get right into it. And there's our first look at uh, Captain Boomerang, and I love the music, by the way. I, I love that it's set that it's set to Bohemian Rhapsody. That that's that just sets it. That just makes the trailer right there. Harley Quinn. Death. Or no, uh, I was I was about to I was about to say Deathstroke. That is not Deathstroke though. That was um. That was uh. Well, wow, I don't even remember his name. Will Smith's character. Yeah. Deadshot. Gosh. Can't believe I actually forgot that one. Uh, there We just saw... Let's go back. Let's go back. I accidentally hit the fast forward. We see Killer Croc. And I think it's funny that his cell actually kind of looks like a sewer. With, like, no... Like, the actual water he could, like, climb in. Um, and actually... Ran, it lo what looks like random meat hanging around. It looks like he... I guess... I don't know. Maybe that's, like, his meal or something. Like, that's what he feasts off of, since he is technically kind of like a crocodile who eats people. So, and here's a, and here is our, not our first look at El Diablo, but our first look at him actually using his powers, it seems. Or at least, no, at least kind of, no, summoning fire, I guess. So that, and I really, I really like that. It looks really good. And Captain Boomerang's going, just going insane, so. Worst of the worst. God, they're getting the crap kicked out of them. And so it looked like El Diablo, like his like cell or like his punishment was like being trapped in like a giant tank of water to like, I don't know, extinguish his fire or something. Or to make sure he couldn't, I guess, fire himself up. And here's Killer Croc. And okay, here here is our first actual look at Enchantress. Um, like technically, we we saw her in the other trailer, but here it's like you actually kind of see, I guess, some of like that that magic and like mysticism or whatever, or whatever, uh, actually taking over her. Right? Because in the last trailer, you only saw like a brief glimpse where it was just kind of her like briefly standing there, and now you actually kind of see her, you know, acting in character. You actually see like this like dark aura around her, and she's creepy, and and I like it. I love and and I just love Cara Delevingne. I think she'll do really good. Uh, <laughs> I love how crazy, like absolutely crazy they've they've made Harley Quinn in this, like. They kind of, it seems like they, you know, they lost, like, the stereotypical, like, Harley Quinn accent that she's, like, I guess kind of famous for in the cartoons and, and like, you know, the, the, the video games. But I, 
I'm starting to really like this, I guess, new t this new Harley Quinn that that they're sh showing off in the movies, or that's going to be like in the the movie universe. I actually really like it. Okay, now, like, I've watched this trailer multiple times to try to figure out what exactly is happening here, and to be honest, I'm not quite sure. Like, at first, I would think that, or, or I guess I should say, I'm, I was trying to figure out maybe like who the villain was, um, because it, there is no, I guess, clear. Like, okay, this is the villain of the movie. That's not exactly made clear in any of the trailers. I mean, most people would think it's the Joker, but actually, I don't think he's the, I don't think he is the main villain that they're trying to stop. He's just kind of, he's kind of there. And kind of, uh, just kind of, you know, hanging out. Um, but see, like, no, this right here, this was clearly not done by the Joker anyway. This is like some sort of like magic or like powers or something. And so my first, my first guess for something like this would be may would think maybe it was Enchantress, but then there's also like uh, some shots later on in the trailer that we'll see that really makes me like start to wonder okay there's something more going on uh, than maybe just Enchantress if she is actually kind of like one of the villains and so, and also a good uh, something I just wanted to point out here in this clip is okay Suicide Squad lined up. But but we're missing some characters. First, Killer Croc isn't there, and as well as Enchantress. So as I was just saying, them, you know, some people are thinking Enchantress might end up being, being the villain. Well, here she is, you know, and in fact, here's like a big blank spot where Enchantress seems to be missing from the team, and they're clearly looking at something. And I I absolutely love Harley Quinn like right there. I I love her and like how she's like just so. I don't know, almost like oblivious to like the actual like seriousness and danger of whatever it is like going on and what's causing the destruction. Like she's just sitting there like, whoa! And I don't know, I find it, I find it so funny. And it's, I guess the little things they've shown of her like that that really get me excited to see her character in this movie, and that really I guess make me l like uh, this version of Harley Quinn that they're doing for the movies. And okay, again right here, this – now this, I guess, is starting to look a lot more like um, – like it could be Enchantress that's doing all this because no, see, uh, I guess like all the I'm – not, I'm not exactly sure what to call it. Like clearly there's like a lot of mayhem here, but it, uh, there just looks like the, all this muck or something on the walls and the ceilings and then a bunch of dead people. So uh, this scene as well kind of makes you wonder if – uh, Harley or Harley Quinn. I was about to say Harley Quinn. If Enchantress is one of the villains, um, and that being said, it 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 actually could be quite possible because you know, June June Moon, uh, the actual um, the actual girl that Enchantress possesses. No, she's actually she doesn't want to be Enchantress, but no, she was possessed by a witch, at least in context of the film, and so it could be. Very possible, especially because we'll see another clip. We're about to see another clip here, where it could be that the enchantress, you know, the witch that's possessed her, has taken over, and she is, and she ended up actually, you know, kind of, you know, breaking loose and going insane. And she actually could be the one, you no, know, causing it, causing this havoc. Um, so clearly, you know, something's going down right here. Okay, and right right here, uh, we see something weird. We see these soldier type things, or these soldier type people that that they're all attacking. And there's another clip coming. So there's like some, we can try to get some different scenes here if we pause it like at the right times. Uh, Killer Croc is about to absolutely demolish one. And a part of me, they don't look like they they don't look like normal armored soldiers. They don't look like the Joker's minions or anything, but they just look weird. They look strange, but at the same time, like they still have, they still have guns. So, you know, they work for someone. I, it's just not entirely sure. We're we're not entirely sure who just yet. <laughs> and there, okay, and there. <laughs> 
I love this right here. This scene. Just the way he says it, I I love Jared Leto. And I I cannot wait to see him as the Joker. I think he's gonna do a great job. Regardless of like what your I get what your view of Jared Leto's take on the Joker is. Um sure it's gonna be different, you know, from, from the last Joker. Um, cause no, every, that's what everyone says. No, the last Joker, um, from the actual Dark Knight series would know that was the, that was the best. Heath Ledger's jo uh, take on the Joker was the best take. Well, and, and I agree, like, you no, know, it was really good, but, you know, I am hopeful to see what Jared Leto has, uh, to, in store for us to see what his version of the Joker is going to be like, because I'm, I'm okay with no two different versions of the Joker. I mean, these are different universes that they're in. And, and I'm I'm excited to see another side of the Joker. Like this guy is just more you no know, crazy lunatic psychopath. And that line, also that line, just got me. Now, now, okay, as I was saying earlier about the guys who look like you know like minions for someone with the guns, but they didn't really look. You no, know, they didn't look like anyone's minions that we might think. This is these are like. No, these seem more like Joker's minions. No, like the eyeball mask, just I don't know some weird big head mask. Uh, <laughs> and there we and there we get another look at the Joker with in that face. Oh my, oh my gosh, that just kills me. And he clearly he suited up for for a special occasion, so maybe that'll play into the movie, or maybe he's just going insane. Who knows? And it looks like this right here, where like no. The scene behind him, it looks very similar to right here, uh, where we see where, where we see this guy. His name escapes me right now, but we see him on the gun. It almost looks like they, it almost looks like they're in one of those helicopters that we see flying around. So I'm wondering if him and and you no know, Jared Leto's Joker could actually be like in the same helicopter flying around, you no know, shooting down at things. So now in the in the the DC special where they release this this trailer they even said that you no know, even though joker is going to be a big part of the movie he is not he's not a part of the suicide squad and that's all they would say so he's not you no know, a part of the suicide squad but i'm wondering if he kind of you know for the sake of like harley quinn maybe like kind of joins in and helps them just you know for the sake of you no know, i guess helping harley quinn and maybe causing a little mayhem along the way so i can't help but wonder if the Joker is actually kind of help you know working beside them and almost helping them because I think that would be really cool. And, and actually, wow, you know what I just realized? If you look right here, there, there he is. There's him in his tuxedo. I just realized that. Like, like it was kind of hard to to notice over here uh, because you no, know, it's it's black and then like the gunfire kind of I don't know kind of got mixed in with the white, but. Here is a tuxedo figure, hence the Joker that we just saw firing the gun with the tuxedo. So there, so the Joker and him are right beside each other. So, yeah, they are in fact together, most likely working together. So, big plot point right there. Uh, there's another clip of the Joker that we saw in the prior trailer. Another good clip of uh oh yeah that's the other clip I wanted to see. A good shot of like of uh the Joker's uh, Lamborghini. Is that a Lamborghini? Actually, it might not be a Lamborghini, but it looks kind of like one. And uh, if any of you saw the last trailer, you know that this is actually a car chase where they're actually being chased by Batman because in the last trailer we actually saw Batman riding on top of the Lamborghini. So I feel like there's definitely going to be some flashbacks in this movie where you see Batman. And or maybe no, maybe they won't be flashbacks. I could be wrong. Maybe he's actually there present day. But most likely, we do know Batman's making an appearance in the movie. And most likely, they are going to be flashbacks. So, okay. And there, dang, I'm trying to like get it paused right there. Here's our actual kind of first look at um, Enchantress really kind of speaking. Um, and this is this is what leads me to believe that she might. That yeah, she might actually be kind of going rogue. Is uh, first of all, if you notice, she's in the White House. Like, there's like the White House seal right there on the monitor. So, I don't know how she got to the White House, and she's 
She she's sounding pretty uh, sinister right now. Like, let's do something fun. So I have a feeling that, or maybe she's just there because you know they brought the Suicide Squad in to I guess be briefed or something on like the situation. So maybe she's not. Maybe like maybe the rest of the Suicide Squad is there and they're just like you know off camera right now. But I'm wondering if she yeah maybe like the Enchantress the witch took over. And uh, she kind of went rogue, and now she's kind of doing her own thing. And somehow she got to the White House and is really about to cause some panic. And there's a, there's another good look at him, Captain Boomerang and Harley Quinn. I like him. He really does seem like you know crazy in this one, Captain Boomerang. Because if any of you like watch Arrow, um, Captain they also had a version of Captain Boomerang, you no, know, in Arrow. But he definitely was nothing like this one, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing. Uh, this interpretation of him. Another and okay, there's another shot of Joker where you see just all these weapons. Like he is really going off the deep end here, and like we see tons of, of course, knives, guns, and a lot of money everywhere. Lots of money. Looks like wine, and these these just look like wrapped up, you know, pl plastic bags or something. So I can't help but wonder like what the hell's in there. Oh, okay. And our, really our kind of our – again, our first look at Katana. I, I mean I know we've seen her before, but like there is her sword, the, the sword that that uh, for those of you who don't know, like the thing about Katana is her sword, you know, w when she kills somebody with it, the sword absorbs their, the, the souls of the people she's killed. And so as no – you notice that the sword actually has an aura, and you actually see like skulls of like all the people, you know, that she's slain with, or that has been slain with the sword. And so, so that the the magical sword and like the aura, enchantress, even even El Diablo, even though we haven't seen that that much of him, though, there is like our big first you know introduction to magic in the DC universe because no clearly clearly we haven't seen that. Um, like even over on the Marvel in the Marvel movies, after you know, like almost ten years, they're just now really starting to get into like magic, like but like the real mysticism, like magic with Doctor Strange, and so right off the bat, you no know, DC, right, you no, know, just like that, they're really bringing magic into the universe just to go ahead and establish that it's there, so that way they can bring a lot more of their characters in. And and of course, apparently they don't they don't let them drink much alcohol while they're in prison. So he's getting every drop he can. And uh, that, there we saw a clip, a quick little glimpse of uh, Katana's eyes just going black. That was really cool. Okay, right here is where I think this is this is the thing that I think is, or the person, even though it's kind of hard to identify who this person is uh might be like the villain of the movie um and it's a really quick shot okay right here i don't know what, exactly what this is um and i actually paused this on a really good shot too like i, I didn't even notice this but i can't tell exactly who this is like if you look in there it looks almost like the person inside of there is almost like you know it's been like burned alive and like the skin is all like bloody and just kind of burnt up and just gross. But then it has like these almost like greenish, I don't know what, it, I don't know what this thing is. This greenish kind of like armory type thing floating around his body. And he's actually projecting out something that looks like vines. And I, at first I was thinking like, could this be uh, poison? I Is it possible that this could be poison ivy? But no, now that I actually freeze it on this shot, no, I'm pretty sure it's not poison ivy, but you no. Know, at first glance, just the way that this person's powers are working, um, it I was really like, I was really thinking, is that poison ivy? But uh, like I said, it I can't tell who this is, but if any of you, if any of you might have a hunch, or if any of you might know who this person is, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below and let us all, or let me know at least, but let us all know like who who you think it is. Or if you know who it is, just know, still leave it down below and tell me who it is.
because I would really like to know because this person is like a mystery to me right now. At least, at least until we figure out, find out more about the movie. And uh, so there, we kind of, we kind of get somewhat of a glimpse of him. Kind of, you know, as the train, as he, the train just kind of goes right around him and just kind of breaks through it. But see, it's really hard to tell what that thing is. Um, like clearly, it's like some sort of like power, power-based person. And that train is just shredding around him. And I want to say that this, like this, the green stuff that surrounds him almost looks like kryptonite. So maybe somehow like kryptonite from Batman and Superman will play into this movie. Because those look like green crystals floating around him, letting him do all this. And I know I could be, of course, be completely wrong. But just since I have no idea really who this is, but but I see like those green, bright green crystals. That really makes you think about maybe that's, you know, that's one of the ways that they're bridging this movie into the universe and connecting it with like the Superman movies is that that might actually be like kryptonite or something. The more uh, more Jared Leto's Joker. There's Killer Croc. Oh, there's a good shot of Harley Quinn before, right there. It just really brief. Uh, Harley Quinn before she was technically Harley Quinn back when she was the psychiatrist or back when she was. Uh, the Joker's psychiatrist before he turned her, and so that so Deadshot is going to town on these random uh, 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 warrior, not not warrior, but like soldier type people, like right there jumping over. It looks like one, um, and I know Deadshot. He's hopping up to start like shooting away at them. But see right here, like right here, here's a really good shot of like these these soldiers. Where it's like you can't really tell who they belong to. They're certainly not Jokers, and they have like this really weird, almost scaly-looking armor. So it's really hard to tell just who they are. Um, but clearly, there's like there's you know, multiple of them. And so the question is like, where are they coming from? Who or who are they, who are who do they work for as well? Okay, and there's another there's another good shot. If we if you look really cl if we can pause it right there of that. That creature uh, thing that we saw earlier, like going just you know, shattering right through that that uh, subway train, where it seems like here's like his power, I guess, extending out. It looks like, um, and and if you can see what I mean, it almost looks like vines or like plant or like you no know, organic base. Which this when I saw this originally, I'm like, that's why I thought it might be uh, poison ivy or something. But then as you can see right here, it's almost like this, I don't know, rock, crystally type residue that's being left behind on, I guess, whatever it touches. And so, in the prior scenes that we saw where, like, all that damage had been done that I was originally saying maybe Enchantress did, um, it's, you no, know, maybe this person is actually the one that, that left those, not Enchantress. Um, so it's really hard to tell exactly who, who, I guess, the main baddie, who the main villain in this movie is gonna be. But, at the same time, I, I think that's also kind of the good thing because it really leaves you wondering and it leaves you guessing, and that's why you want to see the movie. I mean that's why the st – that's what the, the Star Wars trailers did so well is that you know, the trailers didn't really actually show anything off. So that's really – I think they really have, have nailed this. And there's a Cara, Del Cara Delevingne before when she's not Enchantress, when she's actually like June mood. When she's not actually taken over by Enchantress, and there's a, there's a actually there's our first look at you no know, El Diablo actually using like his his fire powers, so that's that's really cool. Okay, and Jared Leto clearly j or Joker jumping off, diving off that platform down into the, the like the pool the pool of I don't know what that is. It's not water. It doesn't look like water. To save Harley Quinn, so clearly there's still some romance there. Joker still cares about Harley, because there you can kind of see her come out of the water. All the makeup's worn off, so so I wonder if if uh, the Joker's makeup will, has like worn off as well, and we'll maybe see his face clear and not covered in makeup. There's another really good shot of him. Oh yeah, there's another good shot of like the mystery person where you see this weird ass explosion. Like I don't know what like all this stuff is. It's some kind of power. It's almost crystal-like. 
And then we see like all these – what looks like all those um, soldiers I, I, I was talking about earlier, like surrounding you know, the blast that's about to happen. So it so really leaves you wondering like who this is. <laughs> wow well guys all right there you have it the suicide squad trailer and it looks it looks absolutely phenomenal i can't i can't okay that's that's good enough i was trying to pause it right there on the title uh this movie looks great and uh, i I hope they, you know, maybe show like another trailer, drop another trailer sometime between now and the actual movie release date, just to maybe give us a uh, sneak peek more. Usually, movies have three trailers in total, usually, normally, and so that's the second one. So we most likely they'll probably drop a third sometime between now and then. And I, I cannot wait for this movie. It looks so good. Uh, if if you guys think I missed anything, leave a comment down below, letting me know like whatever you guys noticed that maybe I didn't notice. Uh, any thoughts you have, please uh, let me know in a comment below. I'd love to hear your guys' feedback on this. If you like the video, then please feel free to leave a like. If you really liked it and you want to see more of these videos you know, when uh, when our new movie trailers come out, please feel free to subscribe. It helps me out so much, and I would love to gain your viewership. And now, that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I, I cannot wait for Suicide Squad, and I will see you in the next video.